little punk kid wants to play hide and seek. I see. Where does this take me? Oh, up there. What the fuck? I did not see myself up there. Oh dear. Right. Let's see what's over here. Okay. That puts me up here for some bizarre reason. And the kid becomes an old man down there. Oh, holy shit. So, that gives us some sort of grasp as to how far in the future it is. He looks like he's in his, what, 40s, 50s maybe? And the kid was, like, 3 or 4 or 5? Okay. Hey, Hi. Wake up, you're eating the peel. Blah. Do you live here? Always have. This house gave me shelter when this was a slum for the city's outcasts and my sanctuary when the whole world stopped working. This house kept me on my legs through good and bad. I see. Got a banana though, though. Which I guess you'll presumably like. Where's that kid? He's up there. Half banana. Hey. Hmm. Okay. Hey, you. I can pick that up, but can I talk to him or anything or give that to him or. I guess. Hmm. I don't know then. Okay, now I come down from here. Ah, there we go. Now he's all sad and confused. Banana? Oh, that works. Hi. Are you still there at least? Can I help? Now he's in pain, and I've caused that. Great, good job, game. Does this mean I can do something else in here now? So I've used the banana, and I've caused him some issues. Do you live here? Always have. My broken leg has tied me to this cursed house my whole life. I wish the shack had crumbled like everything else around here. Great, so not only did we hurt the kid, we apparently broke his leg. But he's got a cane now. Interesting. Give it to past him? No? No. That's rather horrible, isn't it? We broke that kid's leg just so we can get this cane from the future. Which I'm not too sure what to do with, and I'm holding it really bizarrely. Like, that's not how you hold cane. No? Oh, there's something up there. Interesting. Didn't see that there before. Like that, uh, that vine. Aha! And then I can pick up this, plug it into that. Good. Uh, let's move the snail out of the way. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Some platforms here. And I've used everything. Oh, use. I'll take this for a spin. I didn't even realize that the thing I could interact with. Holy shit. Okay, I've got this now. What do I do with this? Hmm. 
Oh, you. I've still got it. <laughs> the propeller Aha. powers up the old machinery. A awesome. Wind, wind situation. <laughs> Lol. Now it's the bad joke. Whoop. Going up. Hooray! Okay. Whoop. Come here. There we go. But how do I get down there without him? Oh, I probably pause time, I guess. And then, whoop. Probably a bit more. And then hook. There we go. Whoa. A bit of frame drop there. Hooray, we made it. Hey. Okay, let's get the snail here. Is that gonna move? Oh holy shit. Right, I'm back from a brief little look at a walkthrough. I was on the right kind of path, except I'm supposed to stop the cannonball kind of here-ish, I think. Maybe a bit earlier than that. And then use it as a platform. There we go. There's an anvil on this. I'll pick up. There we go. It's up. <sighs> uh, uh. <laughs> there we go. Finally, ever since the first episode, I've been trying to drop things on people's heads. Finally, I got to do it. Yes. Yeah. And now, what does this do? There's a fire. Oh, I can fire move this. Exit. This is potentially. We're using that puzzle from the start of the game with that plant. So, pause time. And then if I go back and then turn it on, when it comes back down, it will be all flamey. Shit, wrong button. Okay, through here, across here, on here. Okay, it comes through there, gets all flamey. Alright, and then aim at the door. And then fire. Okay, and then go to the future, where the door has burned down. There we go. That's what I was meant to do. Now oh, what's this? A key. Okay. I guess that's why. Okay. Now we put it out. use the key this somehow is a better solution which means that isn't destroyed in the future which means there's another platform yeah. fuck yeah that's why yeah. it makes sense it all makes sense in the end platform save me yeah. Oof. Yeah. hooray hooray what the fuck oh my god that's a bit fast go screw this Whoa. Snail. This is crazy. Oops. 
It's like, eh, and I'll just jump to death anyway, you know, fuck it. Okay, uh. Hoop. Oof, there we go, holy shit. Snail, I have to finish this alone. But why? You'll need me in there! No. Protect my time travel device. It cannot fall into the wrong hands. I trust you. So now I can't time travel. Well, shit. I'm just a dude who can platform now. Oh dear. Okay, need the time is right. And I can't switch to the snail either, that's fine. Do -do -do. I mean, I just got a time is right, doesn't mean I know what I'm doing. Okay, so whilst it's over here, let's just jump. Not quite, that'll do. Hup. There we go. Ugh, success. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Fuck. Almost right there. Okay. Do it when it's there. There we go. Hooray. Yeah. I can see my mentor's lab. Oh good. Time to face my regrets. Indeed. Although before I get there, a couple more puzzles apparently. Holy shit, we've made it. Let's see if he's home. Let's see if he's home. <gasps> we finally get to see this guy. Let's see what's happened. Yeah? Story? Exposition? Plot? Yeah, I smell foul alchemy. Now, where are you? Okay, cool, we've made progress. I was hoping there'd be a cutscene or something, but I guess not. Let's leave our hero here in the foul alchemical lab of his arch nemesis and mentor with no superpowers no time stopping watch i'm just a dude in affairs that can jump but this has been fun and i'll catch you for the next episode bye